have to do it. Like, who am I to tell you how to cope? Who am I to tell you that you're wrong for hurting? So I think just honestly, just leading up to that, dealing with my mental health, dealing my, with my mental as is with leading up to the games, um, every time I step um, on the track. That's just what it is, bro. Be. And, you know, I, I'm first one to tell you, kids don't gang bang. Right? It's some irrational shit that it won't get you nowhere. There's no retirement plan. Hey yo, I remember Marvin Gaye used to sing to me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be to me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be. Make sure you go to my Instagram, DJ underscore blessed one. Now, there's a beautiful track star. She's a runner. She's a track star. A track star indeed. Now, Shakari Richardson basically failed the drug test, and that's marijuana. Now, WAC 100 got a lot to say about it, and he's not playing. Now, many of you guys know WAC 100, Fresh Coast legend. He, he's not one shot of saying things. He's going to write certain things on instagram where he calls out the track star the u.s track star that is he's gonna blame accountability on her and he's gonna say things such as she let the people down i'm gonna read those instagram's words for you let's proceed now whack 100 says put her on the first thing smoking back to the dispensary a violation just need to be punishment nobody is bigger than the program rules and regulations are there to be followed not ignored she failed us as a people and as I'm concerned, basically, WAC 100 is letting people know he's disappointed in her. He's not loving the way she achieved. Now, she's going to respond to those drugs situation, and she did it in a sad way where she actually held herself accountable for it. Let's hear her words. Boy, just, I want to take responsibility for my actions. I know what I did. I know what I'm supposed to do. Career, I'm, I'm, career, I'm, I'm, I'm allowed not Um circuit this year due to you know the pandemic so just considering all of that all of that put together learn a long time my, my agent my sponsor my my sponsorship my family uh knowing we did all of this stuff. so now, WAC 100 was relentless and unapologetic. I mean, he isn't afraid to speak his mind, and he doesn't care how inflammatory or controversial it may be. Basically, the track star, when she went through it, the game took basically his unpopular opinion on the U.S. Sprinter to Instagram, where he shamed her for failing a drug test, and possibly basically uh, and not the game I, i'm sorry to say i mean whack 100 he shamed her basically for not competing in the 2021 olympics he placed responsibility on her he's like she's gonna be out of the 100 meters due to her not caring and not concerned many people responded to her but a lot of celebrities gave her overwhelming amount of support such as the likes of drake snoop dogg cardi b a whole lot of people i, I mean it, it, it's it's a lot maybe because her comments how she said she's not feeling little nas i don't know what but ever since then people have made her this remarkable superstar for them she's basically a trophy for a lot of people now whack 100 i don't know what's going on right now i take the whack 100 situation as him just being an elder stakes um, that's just what it is bro and you know I, i'm first one to tell you kids don't gang man Right? It's some irrational shit that it won't get you nowhere. There's no retirement. As you can see, WAC 100 is not one to be shy. And I disagree with him, but at the same time, everybody are entitled to their opinions. I think some people actually agree with him, but many disagree. You guys tell me in the comment sections what you think about those words by WAC 100 and tell me how you feel about it. Make sure you go to the links in the description box and support. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm your guy, Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Hey, yo, I remember Marvin Gaye used to sing to me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be to me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be.